we've only darted three. Yeah. <laughs> but we've had a we've, lot we, more we've, calls. We've had the probably boat. six, seven locations that when you get there, they're they're gone. I mean, we had calls starting at six this morning, and it was still dark, so we obviously weren't going to go out yeah. then. There's a cow back there. We're testing out this logistical mechanism, mm -hmm. if you will. There's a lot. There are a lot of moving parts in all of this, mm -hmm. from the phone calls and the timing to finding the animal to recovering the dart. We've had two cases so far. Us, it happened to us once, and it happened to another crew where they darted the moose, and it didn't run off, ah. and it just sat there. And we actually left one dart. We marked it. Uh -huh. the location and then we went back about an hour later and the moose had moved and we were able to pick it up. This is the size that's best for the moose so that it doesn't stick, it just mm -hmm. bounces out. You saw real quickly, uh -huh. just dink dink and that's it. Fishing game is with Dave. I have a few in that area when you get done. We have teams that are covering individual grid cells to make sure we have good coverage. And, we're, and since we're just testing it, we're just seeing how long it takes them to do a grid cell this year. And so in Anchorage, you just can't, you, with the flight restrictions, you cannot do a true aerial survey through there. Our whole goal was just to understand moose and Anchorage better and, and, and inform overall the whole population and, and what the game management unit here, which is 14 c So it, it really is, I mean, it'll be an important tool for us if, this all, if we can figure all this out. <laughs> Any luck? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Ran that way. Oh crap. <laughs> so. Wanna go for a walk? Look for her? 